serious seeds. It takes a real serious commitment to get a tattoo like that. And, and on that note, we're with Thomas from Serious Seeds. How you doing? I'm really good today. Hi guys, how you doing? My name is Thomas. I'm the marketing manager from Serious Seeds. And I want to show you today our uh, entry for best product in the cannabis cup. And it's a clean light. It's a revolutionary light coming out of the Dutch gardening industry. Right. And it's going to be used to kill powdery mildew. Kill powdery mildew. Yes, and any fungus, even budrot. It's, it's a UVC light. How does it work? It works like this. You have to use your safety goggles and your uh, gloves, you go into your grow room, you turn the lamp on, I can demonstrate it here down what's on the table. It's a blue light, it's a UVC light. Right. Oh, yeah. you move it slowly over your plants, from the bottom to the top and back, yeah. one time a day for no longer than five seconds on, on, a, on a single spot, and all the powdery mildew and all fungus will be killed. It, really? always, it always kills the microfungus, the new grown fungus, so if you do that three times a week, you prevent growth of new fungus, the old fungus is dead, so no more fungus in the closet without uh, having to spray anything fluid and any poisons on the plants. Especially an advantage with flowering plants like ours where yeah. you don't want to spray anything in the final phases. No, that's amazing. That is amazing. So just get the light, just pass it on your plants and powder exactly. mildew gone. And it's a hand unit. You can move it really easy along. You can go into your into your closet real deep. You can touch the leaves. It's not hot, nothing. Right. And once it's, it only needs a little um, exposure to the light a day, one time exposed, and all the fungus is dead already. Because it's really uh, strong in the sense if you would use it on your bare skin and yeah. you leave it up there for longer than five seconds, you, you have a really red sunburn. Oh wow. That's, that's amazing. How many euros does that cost? Um, the normal retail price is 150. Now here at the Cup we sell them for 120. Do you have that on the website as well? We, uh, we're going to put it on our website. It's a brand new product which we start to distribute now over the website, but it won't, won't get, be available until I think two months from now on the website. Right. We have the American version, extra 110 volt version, 120 volt version here at the Cup, a whole pallet. And a whole pile of them, yeah. For anybody who wants to take it right away, and within two months it will be ready available. Right. We even talked to the guys from uh, the Smart Pots today and they want to do distribution to their grow shops in, uh, in the States because this is going to be a revolutionary product especially for the hobby growers. Everybody has problems with fungus in our in our little branch and it's the climate it's quite damp right yes a lot of humidity all closet growers have troubles with the humidity of most of them have and especially in the final phases everybody knows bud rot you don't yeah. see it from the outside but once it's there your plant is lost you can't smoke it anymore and there you prevent it we use it already on our in our clone boxes the right. little plants it's the easier you go one time a long chuck once a day real quick and no more problems in the clone station as well that's awesome can you talk to us about Serious Seeds. Sure, uh, we from Serious Seeds, we have big news, we took over Magus Genetics this year in June, another little Dutch high quality seed bank. Right. Because the breeder of Magus, Garrett, he takes a time out, he didn't want to stay in the cannabis business and his genetics would have died. And Simon and him are old friends and so we said, Give us your moms and your dads, our fathers and mother plants, we take them into our care, we produce those seeds ourselves as serious seeds, we give you full credit that it's your creation, but don't let those genetics die, it's all cannabis cup winners. So we're selling the mega strains now, and if Garrett ever wants to come back in the future, he can have his moms and father, uh, dads back and he can breed his seeds himself. And we're really proud to have that uh, extension. Because um, the Warlock, for example, we, en we entered this this year in the Indica category for the cup. It's an exceptional strain. Such a fruity flavor to it. It's amazing. Right. So, um, how many strains do you have all together? And together now we have 10 strains. We have our five classics. We have the AK-47, our flagship strain, White Russian, Kalimist, Bubblegum, and the Chronic. Right. And on top of that, this June, we added five Mega strains. We added Double Dutch. Warlock, Exile, Motivation, and the BD Early. And the BD Early is the biggest extension to our range because we didn't have a proper real outdoor plant until now. The serious plants can be grown outdoors, but you have to have the proper climate. Any humidity uh, or wind in autumn and you're not ready on time. So that's why the BD Early was created, especially for the Dutch climate. Lots of wind, lots of rain in autumn, finishes end of September totally mold resistant and it has a, a bomb of a stone plus a sweet candy taste. So I love this plant and I'm really happy we have this in our range now. Nice. What's your personal favorite? There's so many good ones here. 
my personal all-time favorite is the Perps from BC Badipo. Go right. to a different company now because that's what I grew and won the Cannabis Cup in 2009 with. Third place for Perps from BC Badipo, my own Cannabis Cup right here. Oh, congratulations. Thanks. That's awesome, man. And um, it's still from the flavor and from the effects and from the grape flavor, this is my most favorite strain ever. And BD Early resembles it a little bit, but it's an out to plant. And I'm an indoor grower, so that, that's why I still prefer the Perps. Nice. From our strains, my favorite from the taste is definitely the Warlock because it's so sweet and fruity and I love fruity strains. Um, if I want to go for an uplifting high, the Kali Mist, such a nice peppery, hazy taste to it, crystal clear high. I love that for a daytime smoke. And in the evening, I'm a medical patient, so I had a hernia, so I need something that kills my pain with the hammer. Right. And I smoked the AK-47, still nothing that can be that from potency. Nice. If somebody wanted more information about Serious Seeds, where would they go? They would uh, check out our homepage, uh, www.seriousseeds.com. And there is all there, all of our strains, all the pedigrees, all background information. And check us out. Awesome. Well, thanks for talking to us with us, Thanks. Thomas. Thanks for talking to us, Remo. And have a great cannabis cup. You too. Thanks.